So look, if you want to grow your wealth, your income, and increase the amount of time off, then these are the shortcuts that can help. Welcome to the Wealth Creation Podcast. Hey everybody, it's Dan. So let's talk about side hustles then. I've had lots of side hustles in my time. Sometimes my side hustle was simply a second job and that was fine. I'd work one job, uh, 40 hours a week in one place and then the next job I'd do 20 hours. So that's like, you know, four hours uh, a night, five nights, or it would be three nights a week and then a Saturday or sometimes would do a Sunday as well, 60, 70 hours a week. I'd always do something to generate more cash because I I never had enough cash and I always wanted more cash, right? And I think that's quite a common thing for a lot of people. Um, but what tends to happen is they get a job and then stop at that job and then think that, well, you know, I've got this job now and that, you know, I, I'll make more money magically. Like, where's the money going to come from? Where do you think the money's going to come from? It doesn't come from anywhere. Well, I'm waiting for a pay rise. How much of a pay rise do you think you're getting? Well, I'll be getting a 3% pay rise. So that's in line with inflation. Well, I know, I'll 10% pay rise. Well, how many, how many of those pay rises do you get and how often? Well, every three years. Okay, 10% every three years. It's not a lot, is it? And if you're on £20,000 a year, 10% is an extra two grand. Okay, let's take a third off that for tax, shall we? Like, how much extra do you think you're actually making there? It's, what, take 700 quid off that? You're now only making 1,300 quid, more or less. You're making £100 a month. What are you going to do with that? That's not life changing. You're going to buy a bigger house. And that's what people do. They go out and buy a fancy new car or a car or a bigger house or more holidays. And they actually spend more and they have to go on credit cards to spend more because, well, I've had a pay rise. I deserve it. I work hard. I'm going to reward myself. It's crazy. It absolutely doesn't make sense at all. What you want is a side hustle. You want to be making, I don't know, log burners in the shape of Death Stars. There's a company called Burned by Design. I think it's called, uh, that does that. And they've got Darth Vader and Stormtroopers and R2-D2 and all sorts of different ones from all sorts of films. And they make log burners. And I don't know if that's his side hustle or if that's his main job, but if it's not his main job, maybe it's a side hustle. You should be having a side hustle too. What is it? Maybe you grab a video camera or you invest in a video camera and you become a filmographer, a videographer, and follow people around on weekends. Like, like with their permission, obviously. I'm not suggesting that you stalk people. But... Put a conversation out there. Hey guys, I've just bought my new video camera uh, and I'm prepared to work uh, £9 an hour, £10 an hour, uh, five hours on a Saturday, five hours on a Sunday, uh, plus editing. I need to edit what we what we film. Uh, that's, you know, £10 an hour. It might take another 10 hours to actually edit the five hours worth of content because editing t- tends to take longer. Um, you can put that straight out there. You can buy a £500 camera, which is this one, the Canon M50. You could create yourself a little side hustle. And people go, I'm not a photographer. And... I don't know anything about photography, neither do I. We've had over, uh, well, well over half a million um, YouTube views right now. I'm not a photographer. My dad is. My dad's amazing photographer. Wedding photographer year, pet photographer year. I haven't got a bloody clue. Yet we've had more than a million minutes watched on our YouTube channel. Plus, that's just YouTube. I don't know what the stats even are on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I dread to think. And then everything also gets converted over to podcasts and we've had hundreds of thousands of podcast downloads. I dread to think how many minutes that is. I mean, some of our podcasts are two hours long and people are listening to all of it, right? So the podcast downloads, the minutes listened to um, must be a couple of million. But I haven't got a clue. I've got a voice, for a face for radio, some people say. But you need a side hustle. You need to start making something on the side that you can start generating extra cash. And when you make extra cash, you put that cash into something else that makes extra cash. So it could be like this. For example, you buy a second-hand car uh, for 200 that's worth 500 and you sell it for 400 Now you make four, uh, 200 pounds. Great. You've got your original 200 plus the new 200 So now you, you find another car that's worth £1,000 and you negotiate to buy it for £400. You sell it for 900 Now you make £500. Now you've got 500 plus your original 400 Now you've got 900 pounds. You go negotiate on a £1,500 car and you buy that for 900 quid and you sell it for £1,200. Now you make another 300 That's a side hustle. That's what you're supposed to do. You take the cash from one thing and you use that cash to buy a bigger thing. This is how we went from, you know, small houses, £37,500 buy-to-let properties to quarter of a million pound penthouses in Leeds City Centre. That's how we did it. We had li- these little... Uh, upgrades all the way along when property prices went up we refinanced and we pulled the money out and put it into a next deposit on a bigger place that went up in value and that's how we did it 
Now we're actually at the stage where we're ahead of the game, where we're actually paying stuff down. But all that came from the side hustle. My property, after I stopped working 40 hours a week in one job and 20 hours a week in another job, I got another job, my sole job, I was doing 60 hours in that job, and the other 20 hours I was out finding property and negotiating with um, estate agents, having building up or having built up a large uh, amount of deposit money so I could go do this. And then I'd buy the property, I would do it up, I'd refinance it, and then I'd go buy the next one. I'd do it up, I'd refinance it, and go do the next one. That's how we built a multi-million pound property portfolio. And it all started from side hustles. You can't get wealthy working a day job. That's it. The nine to five covers your costs. Everything else is what makes you wealthy and everybody stops at the nine to five and then blames people like us who are risking it, putting ourselves out there, ridiculed, uh, being talked down to, being laughed at. And they, they, that's what happens. That's what happened for the last 20 years. Now suddenly people aren't laughing at us anymore. What, because we live in Spain and we, you know, our money comes from property primarily, of our cash flow. I never have to work ever again because all the money comes from property. And we've got businesses as well, but if we didn't get money from those businesses, which it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect my lifestyle at all. But what? That's what we were thinking 20 years ago when we were on the journey. But now people aren't laughing at us because now we're serious because we've made it. That's ridiculous. We haven't changed in any way, shape or form. I still have the same ridiculous ideas that I had 20 years ago. It's just that now those ridiculous, ide ridiculous ideas have come to fruition. And so people are not laughing anymore. That's how it goes. And people are going to laugh at you. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let them laugh. That's what I say. Let them laugh. I remember playing basketball. I was like uh, 14 or 15. I'd go to Halifax. We used to have a Calderdale Explorers. They used to be the basketball team back there. And I, I you know, I, I love basketball, but I'd only been playing like two years. Uh, and I'd always chuck the ball up. Whenever I got fouled, I was taught to chuck the ball up because it might go in. And, and one of the professional players there was laughing at me. That's it, son. You chuck it up. Like laughing at me. And then I remember playing a game against him. And I was defending him. And I kicked his ass. And I remember him fouling me and chucking it up and getting, you know, the basket and the foul. There you go. You're not laughing anymore when you lose that game against little old Dan at five foot seven against a six foot two professional basketball player. That's what happened. At first they'll laugh and then they don't laugh because then you start getting serious about what you're doing. But you've got to have that side hustle. The nine to five pays for bills and that's it. Everything you do outside of that is what will make you wealthy or not. Don't settle for nine to five. It's not going to make you wealthy. It's the extra stuff that you do outside of a nine to five that's going to get you there. Hope that's useful. A bit controversial. <laughs> we'll speak to you on the next video. My name's Dan Latto. Take care. Hey, it's Dan here. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Please click like or subscribe to the entire podcast.